to um, to um, to make you know people buy it because they're not just going to buy it for the campaign. I'm assuming, right? So yeah, I, I just want to see Reavers personally, but well, I mean, Reavers are actually you could actually make StarCraft one out of StarCraft two. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I saw it's those Reavers, Viking, or not Vikings, uh, Goliaths. Um, what are those like scout things? Race, race. Yeah, and so. the Corsairs and stuff like that also. Yeah, yeah, all those units are, are actually in StarCraft 2, just um, not actually in the multiplayer. Yeah, they're not, yeah. So, um, I think basically the final consensus on that is that um, StarCraft 2 seems like a quality game. The expansion thing might turn some people off, but, um, you know, I don't know. I personally don't mind it too much as long as they're just far enough apart that it feels refreshing when I buy it, you know? Yeah, hopefully hopefully they don't because like, you know, if they the more the more greedy they get, the faster they'll pump up pump out uh games that just or like expansions that just suck and that's not gonna be you know, people are gonna get upset. You know, there's already been a lot of crap with uh Blizzard and I don't know if you heard that thing when they were trying to uh make it so your form name Yeah, was, the real ID thing, yeah. Yeah, the form name was thing, so uh, Blizzard got pretty flamed on that, and basically, like three days later, they just like, yeah, we're not going to do that. So yeah, at least they listen to people, though. Yeah, exactly. They right? they got a lot of you know flack over it, and they did listen to the community, and the community said, no, that's not happening. We're not going to let them do that. Yeah, and like the land thing too. I don't, I don't think they've solved that yet, but um, yeah, that's going to be a problem because one of the main appeals of StarCraft is the competitive scene, and a lot of that happens on a local area network. So yeah. they really need to work on that too. And, you know, if you have, you know, uh, 300, 400 people connected to the Internet, I mean, you're going to need some good bandwidth or it's not going to work, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you have, like, a big giant LAN tournament, right, with, like, two, 300 people or even, like, 50 people, 50 people on one connection is just going to murder yeah. it. It's not, gonna it's, not gonna be, it's not even going to be playable. Yeah, so. Um, so, yeah, that, I think we've basically covered that. Um, I think we have a little bit of time left. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm trying to make each segment here, but, um... I mean, we can do, like, an hour. Yeah, I we... I, I mean, we... Like, I joined the... I joined, like, not too... Or too much before we started, and mine's at, like, 55, so... Yeah. Um, we're probably getting pretty close, you yeah, know, whatever. Um, well, we, we touched on World of Warcraft, so I think we'll end on one of the important points that we were going to get at. Um, we kind of left it just talking about their expansion model, which we both disagreed with. Yeah. Um, basically, I believe their expansion model has become kind of like a carrot chase sort of thing where you want to get everything in the expansion before the next one comes out, then you get everything in that kind of thing, and that seems to be the model that they're going with. Yeah, which I... Which does not I, reward the player at all. I mean, yeah, technically that's why speaking... That's Yeah. That's, I, that's why I didn't get Burning Crusade. Also... <laughs> I, got, I got Burning Crusade, and then they were like, yeah, we're releasing an expansion. Here I'm, like, exalted with, like, almost every faction on, like, multiple characters, and I'm just like, okay, great, so I get to do it again. That sounds yeah. like fun. And I was just like, screw it, I'm not even going to bother, so... so you know, another I like... thing, another thing that bothered me, I'm not sure how much it bothered you, but was the, the fact that since the Burning Crusade, the game has continuously gone downward on this file of just, like, removing game features for the sake of, like, convenience and stuff like that, and making the game overall just a more casual experience. Now, I... I made a blog post on MMORPG.com like a long time ago, and a couple people had watched it and discussed it. But what I was talking about was how, do you remember uh, around the launch of the game when the forums were all up in flames over this this whole idea of will casuals be able to play this game? No, uh, I never really witnessed that. I, right. I, well, basically, what, what it was, it was a discussion on um, is the game too hardcore? It was around the time with like Molten Core and stuff like that. And people uh, were complaining about like... Um, having to put so many hours into the game that they weren't getting what they felt was their money worth. And that's, I think that's when Blizzard finally realized where they could take the game's direction. Now, since then, I felt that it's... They had, it's, kind they, of, it's kind of reverse. It's changed places. Like, yeah, now like you have the like, hardcore people are like, where, super, where is my super, money's worth, you know? Yeah. The super hardcore people is like, yeah, we cleared that. Like, we cleared, yeah. we cleared like, their like, latest instance in, like, I don't know, like a week. Like in a week, we learned all the bosses, and we can pretty much yeah. ace. And, and that's just that's just not fun for them. And while it might be fun for the people that are like 
just not that you know competitive in the in the MMO scene. I guess you could almost say, you know, they don't have the best gear, they don't have the best enchantments, they don't have the best this and that, the best communication, you know, the best motor skills to the best internet uh, connection. Internet <laughs> connection. Yeah. Uh, well, it might be good for them. I think they really need to try to bring it back to its roots where it, it was a hardcore game, See, and, but still have the stuff for like the people that yeah. aren't, aren't See, that great. I, like, I think they hit a, a really golden spot like at one time before the Burning Crusade. Um, it was around the time with the honor system when they did the first changes to it. Um, it was, you know, you could, like, I guess you bought your gear with honor points, yeah, and it took quite a while to get them, but at the same time, there was a competitive rating scene going on there. Yeah. So right. people could, you know, it was hard to get gear, but they, I don't know, they they just made a way that people could get great gear through PvP without having to get standing one. And I thought yeah. that that was a good sweet spot because most people had a goal that they could get even if they were only coming on a couple hours a day. And I think that yeah. was a good spot. They sh- they should have stayed in that realm, and for the most part, they're still kind of in that. But I think it's gone just too, too much toward the casual market. Yeah, and, with the, uh, with, the, with the honor system. I mean, yeah, it's w- what they used to call welfare epics, right? Like welfare epics. You you just go farm, you know, battlegrounds for, you know, a few days, and you get your epic weapon that lets you DPS in a raid and actually do something. Um, which is welfare epics are okay and everything, but. Um, there needs to be a little bit more of a difference. Like, maybe they should make items that are, um, does, like, uh, does, like, this much damage to this much damage with whatever speed and these enchantments. But then it's, like, vs pl- other players, it does, like, a little bit better stats and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So wasn't that, more, uh, it's wasn't more that kind of like resilience, or though? It was, yeah, kind of like resilience. Because resilience was, it was still used in PvE wasn't really used in PvE, but it was still usable in PvE. I mean, you only needed enough for minus 5% crit, which was, uh, you know, pretty easy to get with just defense alone if you were a tank, but, um, which doesn't even really make much of a difference, because I remember, I was, like, I was, like, capped at defense, and I still got crit by, like, a monster, and it killed me in a heroic, and I was pissed, but, yeah. anyway, um, like, I actually have a screenshot of it, I, I don't know where it is, but, it was actually hilarious. Like, I'm, like, defense cap. Like, I have, like, full epic. And I get crit by this stupid Arendar guy and, like, Arcatraz heroic. And I'm just like, how the hell did that happen? But anyway, yeah, like, it was still useful in PvE, but it wasn't like, you're not going to stack it. it was, once you get to 5%, you can't get crit, right? But, um, but I think if they made it so, like, the welfare epics, per se, were worse in PvE, not, like, terrible. They weren't useless, but they were just not as good. Is then people would still do PvE for, you know, the PvE weapons. Because um, a lot of problems they're having now, well, I don't know about now, I haven't, I haven't played the game forever, but a lot of problems they're having in Burning Crusade was people would go and get their Gladiator weapon, which was better, it was like more DPS than, the, the, than a weapon that they could get in like a 25-man raid. So it's like, what's the point in even doing a 25-man raid? You just get, you know, some armor maybe. Yeah, just get something that might help you more in another raid, but it's not going to help you overall kind of thing. Exactly. It's like, oh, I can get this weapon that's like, you know, 56 DPS, uh, but this Gladiator weapon I got has like 54 DPS. It's like, it's not really much of an upgrade, so... Yeah. You know what I mean? So, that was the problem they were having, so I figure if they make it so, like, you know, maybe the Gladiator weapon only does, you know, 30, uh, 38 DPS in PvE, but it does like 40 DPS, or 45 DPS in PvP... And then they'd actually still want to get the item. And then they also put in that token system, which was decent in Burning Crusade, then it just got worse in, in Wrath of Lich King, where they... Um, have you read the changes for Cataclysm yet? Uh, what, uh, some of them, yeah. A lot of I, the stat changes that are kind of... Yeah. People. Um, well, have you me, heard about me, the mastery one? No. Here, let, let, me, let me finish the, the tokens, though. The tokens in Wrath of Lich King, you could get, like, tokens from, like, heroics. So, I mean, like, a heroic is just a normal instance, it's just a bit harder. You could get tokens from the bosses and heroics, cash them in for items that people were using in against, like, the Lich King, right? So you were getting items that were so high level from doing heroics that you could fight the Lich King if you had the full set of items. 
Doesn't that sound a little bit, like, messed up? Yeah, you know it sounds I mean? a little bit like it screws up the whole progression, really. Yeah, like, yeah, it, it lets the it lets the people that are so far behind catch up, but the point is that they're so far behind because they just aren't competitive enough in the environment. So, like, yeah, they can still go do, you know, 10-man raids or whatever, right? That's still, you know, fun for them. But should we be letting people that, you know, aren't hardcore gamers, let's say, do hardcore instances, you know, it, it it makes the hardcore gamers feel like, well, this is kind of stupid. Like, yeah, this, uh, well, that was the argument a long time ago. Guy that can barely do anything is getting items that I worked my ass off for, but because the games progress so long, like usually what they'll do is they they waited a few like I don't know a couple months and then they release these token uh, items like they. They completely erased the lower tier tokens, just made higher tier tokens. So these guys are working their ass off to get to the Lich King, and they start farming the Lich King a little bit. You know, they kill him, you know, maybe like, you know, once every month or something, if they're lucky. Um, they're doing that, and then all of a sudden, a couple months go by, and then they, they have all these people that are like, they're like, they're barely able to even do like, you know, a 10-man instance. They've been saving up their tokens, and all of a sudden they purchase all these epics and then they start doing lich king it just it feels like what's the point in being the best there is if being the best there is means nothing uh, you know at a later date you know what i mean like yeah. it just feels i think that's the whole movement of the casual market though is that people yeah. realize that a lot of gamers don't want to log on and do something for six hours every night and i think a lot of these games have a, a problem balancing the two the hardcore and the casual, yeah. and it's affecting. I personally think it's affecting the whole MMO genre um, as a whole. I mean, I don't think we'll have time to talk about it right now, but I wanted to get it into Star Wars: The Old Republic and some impressions on that from what I've seen. Um, I I suppose we can touch on that in another um, episode. Yeah, let's just finish our wild thought. You said you're going about Cataclysm. Yeah. I know they're in Cataclysm. They're taking out the ratings. Yeah, they've they've taken out the ratings and they've added a new stack called Mastery, which I'm really not fond of. I think it destroys. Is it a like lot. Ex- is it like expertise or whatever, like weapon skill, or is it? it no, it's like uh, basically it's a stat that changes depending on your talent build. Uh, so it's kind of screwing over that whole thing of like, well, I'm a resto build. Should I be getting this or this? And they'll say like, get that if you're, you know. Instead, it's going to be like, oh well, it's got like mastery on it. So you know, get it anyway because it's going to be good for whatever spec you are. And I oh, think that's kind of destroying a lot of the whole point of having multiple uh, sets. Yeah. Because now everybody's just going to be like, oh, well, I've got, like, 30 mastery, so if I go healing, I'll be successful at it kind of thing. And while they're doing that, at the same time, they've added a new uh, profession, I believe, called uh, reforging, which actually lets you change the stats on armor to, to suit okay. what you want. So basically... I think gear is going to become even more uh, just kind of like. So they went they went from uh, you know the normal normal professions to jewel crafting, which was a pretty big thing. Then they went to in uh, inscriptions, which was a really huge thing. And then now they're adding in this new thing. So it just it seems kind of ridiculous. They're adding all these weird professions that are just going to be money grabs for players. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's all right, but. It just seems like, I don't know, they just keep creating these new professions that are just like these big money grabs. Like, they just, you, just, you know, you do it and you just make a million dollars of, well, a million gold, I guess. Which, I mean, is okay. I don't really have much of a problem with that. But it's just, it, you know, back in the day, you were a leather worker. I mean, you were lucky to make any gold if you were a leather worker. Yeah. Uh, even even nowadays, like, you know, if you only make, if you make epic, epic, uh, epic items, I mean, yeah, you can make some money, but... Um, but you go to an enchanter, fuck, he makes, like, you know, five, ten gold a tip. Probably now they make, like, a hundred gold a tip. I don't know how it's scaling up with money, but... I think that's probably pretty accurate now. <laughs> They're probably making, like, a hundred gold a tip, right? Or, maybe not a hundred. It, it's kind of seeming to me, like, the general issue with WoW right now. And, I mean, as you guys already said, it's like... It seems like every game is getting noobified, basically. Yeah. yeah. And it's... It's it's everything. It's shooters and RPGs and everything. It's getting really hard to find a game. Um, 
as you know, as a guy who's been gaming pretty much his whole life, to find a game.